Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Welcome to another one of my Q&A video series. Here I answer questions that are posted in the comment section of my videos. And today's question is from a previous video I made entitled, Why Increasing Testosterone Can Be Bad For You Unless You Do This. And I'll give you a link to watch the original video in a minute. So the question that was posted is, how can I increase my DHT for more muscle gains and beard growth? Now, just a quick summary, DHT stands for dihydrotestosterone, and this is produced from testosterone through an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. So the more 5-alpha reductase enzyme you have, the more of your testosterone gets converted to DHT, which is also a male androgen, a male hormone, but both men and women have it, but men obviously have much higher amounts. However, DHT does not produce very much muscle size at all. In fact, the primary androgen or male hormone on the skeletal muscle is testosterone, not DHT. And this is because DHT gets quickly deactivated in the muscle receptor by an en another enzyme called 3-alpha-hydroxysteroid reductase. Basically, the, the increasing your DHT will just do nothing for increasing your muscle size. Now, however, it will increase your strength because it stimulates your central nervous system and it also increases aggression. Both can be good for working out. It will also increase muscle hardness because it can lower your estrogen levels. However, what DHT will do is increase body hair growth, including facial hair and beard growth. So that part, it will help you. But keep in mind that will also accelerate hair loss and you know balding if that's part of your genetics. But if you still want to increase your DHT, you'll need to ultimately increase your testosterone levels because the more testosterone you have, the more there is to convert to DHT. And then, of course, the rest is controlled by your genetics. Also, aging increases your 5-alpha reductase, and thus, the older you get, the higher your DHT levels. But unfortunately, the lower your testosterone levels as well. Now, this can all get a little complex, but I have a great video about this that will simplify it, and I want you to watch it. Uh, you'll discover if you have low testosterone and how you can increase it naturally. So just click the link below in the description area, and you can watch that video. You can also watch the original video about today's question, why increasing your testosterone can be bad for you unless you do this one thing. And this uh, link can also be found below in the description area. Well, that's it for today's q and I always appreciate your comments and questions, so please continue and make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos, including answers to your own questions. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.